Hey, Micro Machine fans and collectors. I said this video was coming, and I was not kidding, guys. I completed this right here. All nine of them. I completed it. Look, as they are on the list, right there. Look at them. Look at these bad boys. Look at them. Okay. Also, here's what one of the bags looks like. I didn't buy these from a the store, but luckily one of the people was nice enough to send me a bag. So, um, I think both people actually sent me a bag, but, uh, yeah. This one's in really good shape. It doesn't even look like it's been opened, but it has. They opened it from the back. I wish I would have opened one of my Series 3 ones like that, but I didn't. So, yeah. Um, basically, let's take a look at the cars. We'll start out with the garbage truck. And, guys, I'm not going to be getting the silver or the gold garbage truck. Sorry, if you want to see that, you have to go to another channel. I, I'm not interested in that. It's I could make it myself, honestly. And also, guys, uh, this might be hinting at a future custom. Um, I, I'm going to try to make that car right there. If you guys see that silver center with the black, or that silver Phyllis with the black hood, I really think they should make that car. I think I'm going to make it myself. I'm not sure if it has black wheels or if it has chrome wheels. I'll figure that out later. I'm going to probably make that car as a custom. Uh, but, uh, yeah, um, let's check these things out. So, first we'll start out with the garbage truck. See right there? Oh, man. I never thought I'd be seeing these things. I honestly gave up on them. I wasn't even going to look for them anymore. And then they just started popping up, and I was like, oh, I got to move on them. And I'm glad I did, because, uh, these are not easy to get at all. All right, there you guys go. I want you guys to see that right there, because... Probably very few of you are actually going to be able to see this in person. And it says Salvage Micro Bros. So it's like a little company, I guess. It says Salvage Micro Bros on it. It's got lights paying on it. Really nice garbage truck, actually. Uh, I guess it's pretty much, oh, it's got something on it right there. Eh, good, it came off. But uh, yeah, really good looking garbage truck. Uh, Although you guys may think this is the hardest one to get, it is not. I've seen a lot of this one for sale. Uh, it's pretty easy to acquire in the regular form. Uh, it's been popping up a lot. It's actually the most common one in a box, it seems like to me, from people I've talked to and people I've bought from. Up next... Oh, whoa, 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 my bad. I didn't show the number. My bad, my bad. I'm so sorry, guys. I forgot my one job. Is that number 300 on the nose? Or is that 90? That is number 90 for that one. I don't know why my phone won't just... Yeah, you guys can kind of see it there. Yeah, there you go. 90 for the garbage truck. Number 90 for that one. And uh, there's one you guys saw in that video I did a while ago of saying I got four of the really rare cars. There it is right there. The Condor just uh orange i do like this one though it's really nice looking uh no tail lights on it it's kind of a shame i'm not gonna be adding them because this is a very rare car the series two ones i consider them very rare uh not bad looking it says something on it too it says micro right there on the side i really doubt i'm gonna be able to get the camera to focus on that because that is really tiny oh yeah it is right there you guys see it says micro it's on the one side I don't think it's supposed to be on the other side, uh, but yeah, it's, this is a really nice car. I really like the Condor, as you guys could tell from my custom one I made yesterday. I'll probably be making more custom Condors. I have so many extra Condors. I have more Condors than I do anything, but uh, yeah, there it is. The orange Condor, pretty much just a basic Condor. Uh, I would say if you bought one of these in the Micro Machine World off a car lot, probably it'd look like this. Probably like a special package or something on it. Probably a stock one that you can buy from the factory or something. I would say. Uh, it is number 89 it looks like. Yeah, 89 for this one. Number 89 for that one. And now I'll take a look at this one. Now this one here guys, if you see this one, you're going to want to move on this one. This one, and there's one other one I'll show you guys. I'm not really sure if the other ones are hard to get. Uh, I just know I didn't have trouble getting the garbage truck, and I did see the orange one quite a bit for sale, so that one's not really too hard to get. 
Uh, the ambulance might be a hard one to get, but this one right here is definitely one of the harder ones to get your hands on. Uh, the Catapo, it's like a light greenish with flames on it. I didn't really care about this car that much. I was just going to skip this one. Uh, I, I really just wanted the Blue Pacifino. It was the only one I was going to get, but I was like, ah, I can get the whole set. I'll get the whole set. So, And I'm like, yeah, I'm supposed to complete the basic car, so I'll just get this one. And I really do like this one now that I have it. It's actually really cool looking. I do like this this one a lot. It's even got the headlights painted on it there, if you can see right there. See that? Check that out. It's got the headlights painted on it. It's a really nice looking um, recolor of this car. And then this one is number 88. So that's pretty cool for that one. And now I'll take a look at the ambulance. I really wish they wouldn't have put this guy in the blind bag. Because this is like the ambulance. If you're trying to make like a little city setup or something in your micro machine world, you want a few of these little guys. This is like a really realistic looking, typical American ambulance color. Like, this is like, when you imagine an ambulance, this is the color scheme you imagine it in. Is right here. Is this color right here. I don't know why they decided to make, like... The normal color ambulance so rare, but I really wish they would have made this one, one more easy to acquire because I definitely would have got like a few more of it. I don't know if I see some more of them pop up on eBay. I might get like a couple more. I don't know. But um, yeah, here's the ambulance here. It just says Micro City Fire and Rescue. Okay, so it's a rescue. It's still a fire thing. I, I don't care if that's what it says. I'm, I'm considering this just a regular ambulance. That's that's a regular ambulance color. So maybe that's a good thing though, because since it says fire and rescue, maybe they are gonna make this in like a actual like ambulance uh, color, and it, it'll be in like more a widely available pack. Because I know I, I definitely want a few of these myself uh, if they make it. Not not now probably because it says micro fire micro city fire and rescue, so it's not really just an ambulance it's like a fire vehicle too i wish they'd make just like a regular ambulance but it's not a bad looking little ambulance it's got 33 on the top of it i don't know what that stands for uh and it says something right here there is no way i'm gonna be able to read that it probably says unit 33 oh no it says team 33 okay that's what it says it says team 33 and then um it says micro city fire and rescue right there on the side it's a really nice little um, ambulance. I'm just going to call it a standard ambulance. I can't use this as a fire vehicle. This is an ambulance. Like, 100% this is an ambulance. Hopefully they do make it, though, in, like, a, one that's got, like, this on the side of it, too. That'd be kind of cool. So, hopefully they come uh, make one of these with the... You can get more widely available. And they make the grill black in the middle. I think that'd look good. But, uh, yeah. This one is number... I'm, I'm just going to say I'm off camera, guys, because my phone does not want to focus on these. 86 for that one. And then we got the cane brake. I thought this thing was, like, red and blue, which is, like, my favorite color. It's more of, like, a, I don't know, like a red and, like, I don't know, like a navy blue. It's not my type of blue. But it is a really nice car. It had something on the window when I opened it, but I, I, I got my shirt wet and wiped it off. Like some kind of dust or something. I don't know what it was. It was brand new in the bag, so I don't know where that came from. But, uh, yeah, it's a really nice looking car. It's got taillights. A little cool design on it. It's not a bad looking little cane brake for sure. Although I like my custom one I'm making at the moment, which I finished today, which that'll be coming. Not soon, but I, I still have, um... Two more cars I have to make before I have a set of five again to show. So, yeah. But, yeah. Pretty cool little cane brake. I don't even see anything wrong with it. Oh, boy. It jumped off. Nice headlights painted on it. Really nice looking little car. Again, these really remind me of Ford GTs. They really, really do. But, um, yeah. There it is. It's just a cane brake with a neat little paint job on it. Really cool. And it is number... What the heck? Okay, that's weird, guys. It's put together backwards. I, I Yeah, it is, because normally it's in the front. It's in the back on this one. Huh, that's interesting. I might leave it like that. I, uh, I don't know. I'll probably fix it. 
Is that why it kind of looks weird? It's probably why it kind of looks weird. I'll take it apart and fix it. That's kind of cool. But I do have it on camera that was like that So when I got it. So that's kind of that's kind of cool that I documented that kind of. And it's number 91. Ooh, it really wanted to focus on that one, didn't it? 91 for the cane break. That's also one I've seen up quite a bit for sale. That one I've seen a little bit of. Uh, this one here, I don't know because, like I, I got this one a while ago. I have not been hunting for it. I've seen a few of them on eBay, so maybe it's not that hard to find. I imagine, like, the sports cars are more to find. I'll tell you guys which one I believe to be the hardest one to find, and I've seen a lot of people are still looking for this one. I'm very happy I got it. It's actually the one I want the most out of them, too, so I'm really happy I finally got one. But, uh, yeah, it's just... Uh, black center with red windows i think this might be our first car it actually has colored windows too i think okay guys so as i was saying uh it's just a black center it has red i was saying i think this might be our first vehicle we've saw that actually has colored windows besides black or silver I think this might be the only one that has like colored windows at the moment. I think. I'm not sure, but I I think it is. I think one of the tanks or the, the hovercraft might add colored windows too, but I think this is the only vehicle, like civilian vehicle we've seen so far that has like colored windows. I love the civilian vehicles too, guys, by the way. I, I, I really do. It's got the taillight painted on it. And... Uh, yeah, it's just a, it's kind of a good looking car. It's even got like a different colored headlights. They really kind of went all out on this center. I, I think I'll say this one's probably the, I, I don't know if it's the best center, but it's definitely, I'd say the most detailed one you can get, I would say, because of the fact that they use so many different colors on it. Like it's got yellow lights, it's got red windows, it's got that red thing on the side of it, kind of like, it looks like almost like the Dodge symbol but no it's it's too curved it's not it's just like a little three line design on there it's on both sides too and then on the back it's got the tailpipes painted the windows are painted red on the back too it's really not a bad looking car really not it's kind of nice reminds me of a batman vehicle too but yeah there it is cool little center and it is number Come on, focus, focus. I'm just going to look at it for you guys. 93 for this one. Okay, guys, now this one is the important one. This is the one I wanted the most. The blue Pasifino with the weird yellow striping on the side of it. If you see this car, grab it. If you want it, if you see it, grab it. This one is the hardest one to get and ironically this is the one i wanted the most but uh yeah this pasifino right here is the one a lot of people are having trouble getting there's still people i've seen in uh, the group and my friends in that are still having a lot of trouble getting this pasifino like there's a lot of people that still need this guy this is not an easy car to get i am so happy i got one and I didn't pay too much for it, neither. I paid a pretty reasonable price for this little guy. And, um, actually, uh, the person I bought this from probably is watching this video. So, uh, thank you for helping me complete my collection. Thank you very much. I really, really wanted this car. And I'm so happy to have this Pasifino, finally. Can't wait to get my Series 3 ones, too. Hopefully those come soon. But, um... Not blind bag cars, the starter packs, guys. They were lost in the mail, and I hope I get them replaced soon, but I don't know. Only time will tell. But, um, yeah, here it is. It's just blue. I thought the headlights on it were yellow, but no, they're actually white. And then it's got a yellow, like, stripey design going on the side. It kind of looks like a curved road or something. I don't know. It kind of looks like to me. And then it's got gold rims. It's got the taillights painted. It's got that silver thing in the back. It's got the four muffler design. I love the taillight on the Pasifino. It's just, that is such a good looking taillight. There's not another car that has a light like that. But, uh, yeah, here it is. The blue Pasifino. This is definitely the one, guys, that if you see this and you want it, 
Take it while it's there. You may not find this car again. This one is the most hard one to get. This Pasifino is the hardest one to find. I thought it would be the garbage truck, but no. The garbage truck actually seems to be the easiest one to find. This one is the hardest one to find. According to my research, this one is the hardest one to find. It's definitely one that um, I had the most trouble with. This one right here is definitely... That one in the Catapo is the one I had the most trouble with. But I've seen a lot of people still saying they need this car. So this one is not an easy one to come by. Oh yeah, and this one is number 92 for that Pasifino right there. Alright, now we'll go to the Lustlin right there. One I showed in the one video. This one, I kind of want to say also is kind of a hard one. I think it's definitely not as hard as the Pasifino, but I think it is kind of a hard one to get. But, uh, yep. oh darn it, don't, don't dodge bomb the other car like that. It's got the nice taillights painted on the back of it. It's actually a really good looking car for what it is. They put a lot of color on this one, if I'm being honest. Because it's got like black, white stripe in the middle. It kind of reminds me of like a Tony Stewart's race car. I think it's because of the color scheme. Although that, that doesn't really fit in. But the side of it definitely reminds me of like a Tony Stewart's race car. I don't really watch NASCAR much. But when I was a kid, I did. And this looks a lot like that car I remember from that time. Which I think was like 2006 or 7. That, that year of his car. This really reminds me of it. But uh, yeah, really cool car. It even has orange headlights, which I found kind of weird, but also cool at the same time. It's a really cool little Lustlin. I wish they'd stop adding so many cool ones to the blind bag packs, because I feel bad for some of you guys, because some of you guys probably won't get these, and you know, other people will. I hope these turn up at GameStop eventually. By the way, Series 3 is turning up at GameStop right now. The blind bag vehicles are turning up at GameStop. That's where I got most of mine at. I was going to get them off eBay, but then I found them at GameStop, and I was like, nope, I'm going to go get them at GameStop. And I have the whole Series 3 collection complete. I just need two cars, and I'll be doing a video on that, too, of the blind bag vehicles there. The basic ones. I don't have any of the silvers or gold. Well, actually, scratch that. I do have a silver of the Rescue uh, the Command SUV. I did end up getting that instead of the yellow one. But there was no yellow one, so, yeah. But yeah, here it is, the Lustlin. Really nice looking color for this one. And it is number 94 for that one. And then my least favorite one in the whole collection, which is the last one, is this one. This one is terrible. I I do not like this one. The other buggies they did a good job with, but the first one they released, this buggy is terrible. This thing is terrible. It is terrible, terrible, terrible. And why I say that is, well, you you don't have any windows. Like, look at that. I mean, to be fair, if this was real, I don't even think it would have windows. It'd just be open. They should have just made it like that, honestly. They should have just, like... If you weren't going to paint it, just like slice it and make it open. That, that would have looked a lot better than this. Because this one, in my opinion, is the worst vehicle they've made so far. This one right here is the worst micro machine there is. I hate that I paid so much for this when I did on eBay. Because it was not worth what I paid for it. This one is the worst one. The absolute worst one of the collection. This one is terrible. I do not like this one. I don't really have much to say about it. It's just pretty much just this describes it. It's blue. It's blue and it has headlights and has a few little ice sickle designs here and there. There's not really too much to say about this one. This one is just terrible. They could have made this one a lot better if they just would have made the windows. I'm almost considering putting the windows on this one, but I, I'd like to keep it original. If I can get another one, I might do it. I probably will if I get another one, but this one is just, this one is terrible. I do not like this one. I do not like this one. And this one is number 87, is it? If I've been saying them wrong, is it actually 80 instead of 90? Um, no, the ones I said were, 
Yeah, that, that's weird. That one's 80. That one is 87. That's weird. But yeah, um, terrible. This one is terrible in my opinion. Absolutely terrible. This is probably the worst micro machine they've made since they've been making them. This one is terrible. The other ones are nice. Like the yellow one, the red one, and the purple one, very nice. But this one is, is just is terrible. I do not like this one. I don't. It doesn't even look like it belongs with the rest of the cars. It looks like it's just some cheap knockoff. It doesn't even look real. I do not like this one. It doesn't even look like it belongs with my the rest of my collection. It's it's just it's just terrible. That's all I can say about it. But um yeah. Uh that'll conclude the series 2 mystery vehicles. I'm so happy I can finally mark these things off my list. I don't have to look for them anymore. Staying up day and night trying to find them on eBay. I literally stayed up one uh, the night after I found the four I did. I stayed up for three nights straight trying to see if I could find the rest of them. Never did. I was like, ah, I give up on them. And then people started finding them at that one gas station. They started popping up on the group stuff. My friend got me in contact with some people that had them. And needless to say, I completed the set of the basics. I completed the basic ones, not the the golds and the silvers and i'm not gonna do that so if you guys want to see the golds and the silvers i'm sure there's somebody else that'll do a video of one if they don't sorry it's not really that interesting though it's, it's literally just the same gold and silver we've seen on some of the other chase cars i've looked at like the gold gt7 and the silver gt7 it's the same silver and gold it's just the garbage truck is all silver or all gold and has the windows paint on the stuff it's not it's not really that special but um yeah uh, thanks so much guys for watching and um, I wish you all luck in completing your series 2 blind bag collection get on eBay right now guys I, I know there are some on eBay right now I really wouldn't recommend buying them because they're like there's ones on there for like 25 to 20 dollars and then you add shipping onto it for just the one car but I don't know if you want them bad enough if I was in that situation, I didn't have them yet, I probably honestly would have jumped on them and got them myself. But considering I got them for less than that, uh, I, I'm just saying I wouldn't. But if you need them, I would definitely get on there. And I think this one is actually still on eBay right now. I think this one is $30, so the person definitely knows this one's more of a hard one to find. So that one is pretty expensive, and I don't even think they have that one on there. So, I think they did, but it got sold. But, um, yeah, that will conclude the, um, Series 2 Mystery Vehicles. And, um, that will also conclude Series 2. It is complete. We have no more vehicles to look at for Series 2. All the basic vehicles have been found. Unless they release some other special sets or something on Amazon and call it Series 2. But, um, that will conclude Series 2. No more Series 2 on this channel. Or Series 1. We've also completed Series 1, too. So, alright guys. Thanks so much for watching. And, um, yeah. I'll uh, be back when I complete Series 3, which should be here, I'd say, within the next week and a half or so. Well, Series 3 of the blind back cars. Not the entire Series 3. I still got a little bit to do before I can say I've completed that. Of the basic vehicles. So, alright guys. I'll see you guys later.